Hello, this is Chris again. Um, now I'm going to talk about, as I said in the end of the last video, the good old days. Personally, I'm only 20 years old myself, and personally, the good old days for me, well, obviously, I've had quite a few more now that I'm old enough to do more things than I used to be able to. But now, I want, when I used to feel safe in the park, or something like that, these days, unless I go in there with an attitude, I don't feel safe at all. I mean, like, me and my friend Lamar here, say hello, Lamar. Alright, alright. Yes, I'm quite sad, I am aware. But, yeah, I walk, I walk around in the park, and you see one group of hooligans over there, another group of fucktards in the corner, and it's just oh. like, why? I mean, why? Why would you want to shout abuse to people who are just going to go on the swings? Or perhaps just to socialise for a while in the park? I mean, why? So, oh, just... Ugh. I can give you a very good example. This was a few years back. I went, in, I went into the park with my best friend. We were just on the swings and she was and I was pushing her on the swings and then I hopped on. And then there was this chav. You know. Came up came up and was like, Oh, you bunch of goths and he was just like Yeah, because obviously I've heard this all before. Just look at me, I'm not a goth. <laughs> Do I look like one? But <laughs> not like an angry old man. But generally speaking, yeah, but anyway, back to that. And you know, I took, I took it for half an hour because I'm quite a patient guy. And then <laughs> he cried across the barrier <laughs> when he picked up a stick and whacked around, the, whacked around the face of it. I never felt so angry. My blood boiled and I totally pulverised the guy. <laughs> it just. No. It. No, that's not me at all. It's these groups of people who decide they want to have a go just because you're different or just want to have a go just because, oh, we're in a group. Oh, we're hard and all this rubbish. And it's just like, I can remember times when I used to be able to go into the park by myself or with mates when I was about 10 or 11. And I didn't need to worry about these groups of gangs that were coming up or whatever. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean... Now I feel safe enough to go out because I'm I can I'm quite confident with my fighting abilities, but it just annoys me because because people don't feel safe as they used to. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm like looking around and <laughs> where I am I'm quite safe in Sheffield because it's in a nice built-up area so it's quite it's quite safe here, safe city I believe. But generally speaking, you no know, like in towns and stuff like that where drug use is high and I think it's it's just annoying that people have to resort to name calling and violence to get a kick you know just to feel alive I've come from towns and I've come from villages this is the first time I've ever lived in the city and it's about myself yeah and you know what I fucking hate how why people have to resort to gangs and violence I don't understand why I mean if I didn't why does everyone else have to? Why do they? Why do the underachievers have to support for the rest of them? Is it because they feel jealous of us, or what? Oh, I'm going off the subject again. I'm so sorry. I ramble so much, but you know, but you can see where I'm going with this. Just groups of people, and so I, I'm, I can remember when things were so cheap. You, I'm sure you can remember like Dandy and the Beano anniversary. It's only like a couple of quid, you know. Comics were like 20 or 50p. And now the comics are like a pound, pound 50. And the anniversaries are like 5 to 10 pounds. And it's just like, what happened? I don't care if the recession or inflation's high or low. I don't give a crap. The prices of things should remain a constant. I mean, I don't see why things have to go up in price like they're being redundant. I don't understand that. So irritating. It really is. Like, I had to get my computer, yeah? I had to get that fixed. Because 
Well, the things were fucked up on it. Yeah? I had a little problem with um, it with my USB drives at the back. They just suddenly started they didn't want to work. And obviously, I'm getting a bit annoyed with that. So I took it in, and it cost 30 quid for them to look. I'm sticking a USB drive. I could have stuck in a USB drive. I knew what was wrong with it. I don't see why I have to pay over the... I don't see why I got charged for £8 for it. Yeah, this is about the good old days, so... I can remember back in the good old days when things were a lot cheaper. You know what I mean? We noticed that you couldn't get my computer for about 300 quid back then. Because I got this for a bargain. You know, back in the day, that this that computer there probably cost in thousands. You know what I mean? But now, probably a couple hundred, few hundred quid. Probably had 300 more because I've upgraded it to fuck. But, good old, the good old days, I miss them. I really, really do. It's a shame, really. Things have to change. Stupid gang culture, that's what it's all about. People think that they need to feel hard inside them, so they hang around in groups and pick on people who might not be in again. They might be just a small group of friends. I can remember times when I went to secondary school. You've probably experienced this, maybe. When you're just at secondary school and you get these a group of people who just pick on people for no reason just because they're different, yeah? I've had this and it irritates me. You know? Me and my mate at secondary school, we were different, yeah? And we got picked on for it by the entire school. Just because we weren't loud, obnoxious, and we weren't that bothered about Qualities like, oh look how strong I am, and oh look how much abuse I can shout, and oh look at this, I'm still gonna go behind the school. <laughs> yeah, I go to school to learn, dickwads. As so did my friends. I'm at one of the, I'm at one of the best universities in the country at the moment. And it's world ranked as well. I can guarantee you. I can actually tell you. The people who are like that to me, I can name you. I'm not going to name them for obvious reasons. But one of them, <laughs> he's a druggie. And of one, well, he's kind of unemployed and he's fathered, I think it's three kids to different mums. The other guy, well, he's in prison. He got, he got put in there for assault. The other guy, <coughs> I didn't think he had it in him. I always thought he was a bit weird. He's a paedophile. Oh yeah. So I'm just, I'm just saying that people shouldn't have to fear anymore. You know, things are getting slightly better now because we're obviously recognising that there's a gang culture is increasing in the UK. But generally speaking, the good old days were better when we could walk around the streets and it was so much more nicer. Generally, I like, I like things how they are, but things were better back then. Obviously you can comment and change my mind if you want, but that's my view. Anyway, I'm going to leave for tonight, so I shall speak to all of you later. Chris, signing out.